Hi everybody, Ralph here. I have been asked to do an expose on this simple one cylinder solenoid engine. It operates very much like a steam engine or even an internal combustion engine. The parts are compatible. In that motion of the flywheel activates mechanisms which complete an electrical circuit charging the coil which then magnetically draws the piston, the slug, up creating action on the crankshaft which turns the flywheel. So it is a very simple engine it is critical that the components be built and set quite correctly. In a schematic, one can see the relationships between the parts. In the box, of course, are the batteries. Most identifiable is the flywheel, connected to a camshaft, which pushes a push rod up through the tube activating the rocker arm to complete a circuit through this reed. Electricity flows from the batteries through a switch up a tube to the coil and the other side of the coil is completed uh, con makes contact with the reed when the rocker arm pushes it down. The base is very solid and the tower on which the coil rests also is a very solid component bolted to the base. The coil then is bolted to the tower the crankshaft is actually inside the tower this is an exploded version which is connected to a connecting rod connected to the piston, the slug which goes inside the coil the rocker arm assembly again determines when the circuit is complete and when it is broken. We want the circuit to be complete and the coil charged when the crankshaft is at bottom dead center so that the uh, electromagnetic forces act to pull up on the piston. The batteries that I employed are four 9 volt batteries hooked in series. However, many other power sources are available a varying size power potency degree and, and such the switch is a simple pull switch and all the components come together correctly to form a nice little engine The inside of the box contains the batteries in a very simple circuit hooked through a switch up to the reed which activates the magnet. Again this is a very simple electromagnetic engine which operates very much like a steam engine except that instead of using valves to control the flow of steam it uses a switch to control control the flow of electricity one can see the operation of the rocker arm And there it is. My example of a single cylinder engine built on a custom base. This is Ralph saying thanks for watching. See you next time.